Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. It is chillier this evening than it was yesterday evening as temperatures right now are about 5 to 15 degrees cooler than the temperatures were yesterday at this time. We're currently in the upper 30s and low to mid 40s in most locations. It was a bit breezy today along the Rocky Mountain front as well as in portions of the plains. Right now, the wind's really not too bad in most locations as sustained wind speeds are currently less than 10 miles per hour. On the Opportunity Bank ICANN, we have had mostly cloudy skies throughout the day today, although that cloud cover has been decreasing over the past few hours. There are also a few isolated rain and snow showers in the central part of the state today, but really most locations throughout Montana were dry. As we go through tonight, we'll continue need to have quiet weather, but there is a storm system in British Columbia right now, and that storm system is going to send the cold front through our area during the second half of tomorrow and tomorrow night, and that will bring precipitation to our area, and it will bring colder temperatures to our area as well. Now, as we go through the first half of tonight, we are going to have mostly clear skies and dry conditions. During the second half of tonight, we are going to have increasing clouds and some rain and snow will start to work its way into western Montana as well as along the Continental Divide. And then for tomorrow, we are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. During the morning in eastern and central Montana, it will be mostly dry. However, in the northwestern part of the state, that's where rain and snow is likely tomorrow morning. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, precipitation will start to work its way into north central Montana. That precipitation will become more widespread as we head into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Precipitation will initially start out as rain in the lower elevations, but that rain will mix in with and switch over to snow. As we go through tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night, as that cold front starts to work its way into our area, bringing colder air into our area. Notice around the Helena area, the daylight hours tomorrow are going to be dry. Most of tomorrow evening will be dry as well. Precipitation shouldn't work its way into the Helena area until we get into tomorrow night. As we go through tomorrow night, that precipitation will continue to work its way south and southeastward through Montana. And notice by sunrise Thursday morning, a lot of that precipitation is already going to be out of the state. A few lingering isolated snow showers in the central part of the state, as well as some lingering clouds. But any lingering clouds and precipitation will quickly diminish as we go throughout the morning with plenty Plenty of sunshine expected for Thursday afternoon and evening. A winter weather advisory is in effect for the Glacier National Park area from 5 a.m. Wednesday until 5 a.m. or 9 a.m. on Thursday. In the lower elevations, including West Glacier and East Glacier, one to five inches of snow accumulation is possible, four to eight inches of snow accumulation at Marais Pass, and then eight to 14 plus inches of snow accumulation above pass level. There's also a winter weather advisory in effect from tomorrow evening through Thursday morning for some of the other mountain ranges within western Montana, where two to six inches of snow accumulation is possible. In the lower elevations, really not expecting much snow accumulation from this event. A coating to an inch or two of snow accumulation is possible, but that's really about it, with most locations receiving little to no snow accumulation. And the snow accumulation will drop off the further south and east in the state you go. As we go through tonight, it will continue to be breezy in some areas with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. Then for tomorrow, it will continue to be breezy, sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour throughout the day. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. Breezy conditions will continue tomorrow night as that cold front passes through. And then on Thursday, we'll have light wind during the morning and then breezy conditions in some areas during the afternoon and the evening. Low temperatures tonight are going to be in the 30s in most locations. Tomorrow, a mild day. High temperatures are going to be in the 50s for most of us, but it will be a lot cooler as we head into Thursday with high temperatures in the upper 30s and low to mid 40s. We warm back up heading into Friday and Saturday. Highs in the mid to upper 40s and lower 50s with plenty of sunshine. Then our next chance of rain and snow will be on Sunday and it will be cooler with highs back in the 40s.